Hello students, welcome back. Today we are going to deal a very important topic, a very important chapter in your ICAC English language paper one, that is composition. In general, we can say essays or we can say essay also. Now, composition plays a very vital role, an important role in ICAC English language paper one. See, this composition is included for 9th and 10th ICC syllabus. Now, there are types of composition. Narrative, descriptive, argumentative, reflective, critical, short story. Among these, the first thing what we are going to deal about is that we will deal step by step. What are these composition all required for what see the major drawback especially for students who score composition very low the reason is because there are some errors now we need to rectify those errors and try to improve them see writing an essay is not a is not something that uh, every everybody's task that you can say it is very easy uh, writing an essay it's very easy man people say okay some uh, some people might say writing an essay is damn easy uh, you can write you cannot write whatever you want there are some certain rules and regulations for that also there are certain things according to that see majorly questions which have been asked in your board examination are narrative descriptive argumentative and short story of course, reflective and critical essays, we will discuss that thing about later. But narrative, descriptive, argumentative, and short story, in the, and also picture composition. Now, writing a composition is like an art. Okay, you should have a very good English. Not only that, you should have a very good writing skills. Now, see, when it comes to teaching uh, composition or knowing about composition, the first thing is that the better thing that what you need to know is that you need to refer some question papers. The same way, similarly, we will discuss about some, two, some question papers of the board examination and we will have a quite a discussion about it. So on the screen, you can see this particular questions were being given in the year 2018 board examination that is english language paper one so the question number says says do not spend more than 35 minutes in this question that means you should not spend more than 35 minutes that means you should be very accurate you should have a very good skills of writing i'm not talking about handwriting i'm talking about writing skills Writing, describing something, narrating something as an art. Remember that. It is a very good skill. So most of y'all should, should have the habit of writing. So what happens is that if you want to make a habit of writing, so you have to write day to day. Like, you know, some people have a habit of writing day to day incidents. What happened in their life? Some people like writing, uh, writing, describing about somebody else. Some people like writing poetry. Some people like writing short stories. Some people love writing Vagera, many things. Okay. But here in our essays, there are some particular things. As I told you, we are going to discuss about argumentative, descriptive, narrative, and short story. On the basis of these only, the question do arise. Now you can see question number one. Now before that, you can see do not spend more than 35 minutes so that you should be very accurate, you should be very precise, you should be very clear, and you should be on time. So it says that do not waste time. Understood? Now write a composition in 350 to 400 words in any one of the following. Okay, so at that time, this was 2018 examination board. At that time, composition was 25 marks. At that time, we didn't have notice and email. Understood. So since notice and email had come, we had to add some of the marks 
so we had to make an appropriate 80 marks so we removed five marks from this and five marks from comprehension and that's how we built five plus five ten marks for notice and email now now you have in composition it is 300 to 350 words only now we will have some certain uh, certain structure so listen to me very carefully students i'm talking ninth and 10th students please do listen to me so most of y'all uh, what you do is that you do not listen the most of them what they do is that since they do not listen they make a lot of errors now let us discuss about it now slow by slow we'll discuss see question number a write an original short story entitled the gift see i have highlighted that particular word an original story and the title is the gift so your story should be the title called the gift see most important thing when it comes to original most of the students get confused now original story means what that means people think that you need to take from some other story original short stories now when, when i think about the gift i think about a short story called the gift of magi written by o Henry. so what students do is that if they have a very good reading skills if they have a reading habit of reading stories and short stories novels and everything people what they do is that they start writing that particular story in their essays that is the gift of magi written by o Henry. to tell you the real fact that is wrong you should not write that is called a copied version you should neither copy from some text you should neither copy from some movie you should neither copy from some other newspaper uh, kind of an edition or magazine story you should never copy or you should never derive any stories from that particular thing that means it should be an own story should be written by you under the title the gift it should not be a copied one understood so what do students do is that to make it very simplistic not to waste the time they start writing stories which were actually uh, they start uh, taking ideas from movies they start taking ideas from books they start taking but if you start taking from there and you write it in your piece of paper that is in your exam paper that is exam sheet i'm talking about that means you are losing marks if you copy from somewhere else you usually lose minus marks see in essays we do have minus marks negative marks we have that is called penalizing they penalize your marks that means if you copy you are uh, penalized like something minus uh, something something two marks or three marks or four marks also so make sure that you are writing an original that is your own story not about your life that's something you create your own story understood i think you are getting your understanding so the question number one is about a short story which should be written in your own under the title the gift gift means could be anything you can describe that your father has given one of the best gift your teacher might have given you one of the best gift or your uncle might have given you a best gift your best friend has given you one of the best gift you how did you get that gift and what gift should be remember and remember when you're writing about the title it should be meaningful okay usually you know many of you students you know you at the end of the st short story what do you do is that you do a twist or ending twist that is all okay but remember the story the story should be in your own it should not be copied it should not be copied from either from some book or for some writer or some magazine or it should be co neither copied from uh from what you can say uh from movies so what happened is that people they were we uh we if our examiners they come to know that this particular student has copied from this we get a lot of materials and sort of materials that people really do read and listen also there is a part of called listening skills so that is what i'm trying to tell you please be thorough in that okay now we are discussing we will i'll tell you what to how to improve what to improve and what are the steps that you should know okay now 
question number a you know it's a short story okay now remember children whenever you're writing an essay it should be written into paragraphs okay paragraphs it should be always written into paragraphs so what happens is that many students what do they do is that they start writing a lengthy a paragraph should be broken see remember it should be a word count word count like in one line how many words you can write so maximum in one line seven words next line seven words next line seven words at least in a paragraph at least a paragraph should contain 60 to 70 words the next paragraph should contain at least 80 words the next paragraph at least should contain 80 words so you have to break the paragraphs maintain that discipline there most important is that paragraph discipline should be important and some people what do they do is that to break the paragraph some people start the sentence from and some people start the sentence from because some people start the sentence from but that is not necessary if you write if you start the sentence from and but because then there is error that is called minor error okay we will we'll go step by step okay now listen question number one you understood so it should be your own story it should not be adapted from any book from any author from any magazine from any movie or series or anything okay next one question number b money is important for happiness express your views either for or against this statement it is an argumentative essay now what is an argumentative you know argumentative is like a debate essay for and against but here you got only one to choose you should either write for or against you should choose one you cannot write both for and against in one in one essay no if you write both the thing then there is also a minus marks for that that means you will not able to score well so if you are having see when it is an argumentative st state when it is an argumentative essay remember that you should be into one statement then either for or against see remember when you are writing an argumentative essay it should be well constructed well constructed that means it should be a logical argument and logical ideas okay remember you should have something logical guys whatever you are reasoning it should be your personal experience remember when you are writing an argumentative essay it should be well constructed it should have logical arguments logical ideas and when you're reasoning it should base on your personal experience remember that next thing is that you must be clear clear in what statement you are standing for means if you are standing for four then stand for it then you have to write 300 or 350 words understood you should write 300 to 350 words i'm not talking about pages here i'm talking about words okay word count is very important so you should either write 300 to 350 words sir don't some student many students will ask sir how many pages you need to write how many pages that we need to write 300 to 350 people will be thinking is that uh 300 to 50 means uh, three pages uh four pages uh Two and a half pages. See, guys, it is left to you. But remember, it is 300 words, two, 350 words. That means a uh, is also counted, is is also counted, was is also counted. Any word, letter which you write, the word which you write is counted. That means 300 to 350 words it should be written. You can extend it also, no problem. Some people, some students will write nearing to 400 words or 450 words or 500 words. Some students, they would like to express more. They want to write express more. That is left to you. That is every, ICAC is given a total freedom, guys, for you. You can express how much you want. But remember, you should not spend more than 35 minutes. Remember that. You should not spend your time. You should not waste your time in there only, in writing your composition only. Understood, children? Remember, children, whenever you're giving, whenever, uh, if, you're, if you're going for for or against, it should be a valid reason. The reason should be very valid. Valid means, that means it should be something meaningful. Understood? It should have something meaningful in your essays. 
So this is called argumentative essay. The next one. The next one is narrate an incident from your own experience when you help to prepare a meal. Explain what you did and what you gained from the experience. Now, this is called a narrative. It is a narrative composition. See, it is a personal perspective. Also, it is a personal perspective. Okay, understood this. So, you know, it is a personal reason. Now, here, see, narrate an incident. See, guys, most important thing is that you should read the question properly. Most important thing is that most of the students do do mistakes is that they don't read the question properly. Most important thing is that you need to read the question properly. See, narrate an incident of your, that means you, your own experience when you help to prepare a meal. That means when you help to prepare a meal, that means I play an important role. So the first person there, that is I, that is you. I. So when you're writing, you should mention I there. So I plays a predominant role. That is the first person plays a very predominant role. Okay, explain what you did and what you gained from the experience. See, when you are narrating this particular thing, it is your own experience. So the experience is that, how did you prepare a meal? That is helping somebody else. You might be helping your mother, you might be helping your sister, you might be helping your brother. So what you did, how did you prepare it? Okay, it's not that your mother preparing, your brother preparing and you simply standing and watching it. No, that is not the way you write. I was just simply standing and watching. My mother told me to wash some tomatoes. I washed tomatoes and my mother told me to just check out if the thing is ready. That is not the way to write. It is how you did it. That means from cutting, looking, observing, everything that you need to, you need to observe things very clearly, children. So you need to be very clear when you're answering. So that is I play a very important role. That means I, the word I am talking about, not me. I'm talking about I. So remember, I have highlighted those words. Your, you, you, you. Explain what you did. Explain what you did. It is what you did. And what you gained the experience and what kind of experience that what you learned from that. What are the things that you need to write in that? You cannot write something or the other children. Remember that. See guys, you need to visualize very clearly. Some people, you know, they try to make it very complicated. You know, the, they start uh, uh, writing on things that that is they are not able to prepare. Now, don't say that it is very easy sir, to prepare an omelet. Omelet. I'll write about omelet. I have learned an experience in that. No, that is not something, something meaningful that you're writing. See guys, remember whatever we are discussing, it is very important. Don't think that this is just an easy task. Understood. Most of you will be thinking writing an essay. Most of you will be thinking, ah, what is there an essay that I'll write something and I'll finish it off. It's not that easy. It's not that easy. I'm telling you, you need to gain a lot of experience in that. For that, you need to practice a lot. You should have a habit of reading a lot of books. You should be uh, imaginative, creative. A lot of imaginative you should be. You should play with your words. You should use good vocabulary. You should use good idiomatic expressions. You should use good thoughts, good quotations. Something that could help the composition very clearly I'm talking about. Understood. So that is the third one is about narrative composition. The last one, that is the, that is the fourth one. You had been waiting outside the examination hall. Describe what you saw and the sounds you heard when you arrived at the place. What were your feelings? Describe how the scene changed once you entered the hall and the examination started. See, this is a descriptive essay. Now, most important is descriptive. See, what it is, it is you only play. That is, I play a very important role. That means the word I play an important role because it is a personal perspective. Understood. 
See now, when you are describing things like this, you need to, like, you know, you need to observe. Now, what it is said, you have been waiting outside the examination hall. That means you are waiting. Waiting there, near the examination hall. So the exam starts at 11 o'clock, 11 a.m. So you are like around 10, 15 in your campus. Okay. So usually they say that you have to come half an hour before or one hour before to school campus. So you are here right at 10, 15. Okay. You have arrived near the school and you have to describe what you saw, what you were seeing. You can give reasons. Children were chatting, uh, chattering. Parents were talking and uh, people were preparing. Some students were running around preparing and some people were discussing. There was also going some arguments were going. So usually what happens in the exam before you go to exam and all, you know, what, what are the things that you will be that you, what are the things that you know? Last minute will be there. You'll be rushing into notes. You'll be looking at, hey, what is this? Did you read this? Did you read that? That is how you should express that all the things there in your essays. That is called creativity, children. Okay, and then teachers, you will be asking doubts to teachers and teachers are solving. Okay, and what are the sounds that you have heard and doubts and giving answers, telling and some people telling you and some people, uh, some, some of them, uh, some of your colleagues are telling relax, do relax, uh, uh, man, everything will be fine. Everything will be good. And some of your parents will be encouraging their, their children. Don't worry, the exam paper will be fine. Everything that is how the expressions, the discussions goes on. So everything you need to observe that is called a descriptive essay. When you see, you have to describe things. What all you observe, you need to describe it how it looks. So this is called descriptive. And what are the things that? And you have to discuss each and everything. Parents leaving, and the bell ringing, okay, and then hush in the hall, the quietness in the hall as soon as you entered. Then you, you make your prayers and everybody is silent. You can't look. And how did the exam begin? So this is how you need to describe. But remember, it is you writing. That is I play an important role. That is first person. That is I play a very important role here. I hope that you understand. I hope that you understood children. What is a short story? What is an argumentative essay? Okay, if it is an argumentative essay, remember you, you should write only one, either for or against the statement. You cannot write both. Remember that you, you are not allowed to write both. If you, sir, what is there? I will write both. You are going to lose the marks. That is why we are telling you. That is why we are trying to tell you to read the question properly. Express your views either for or against the statement. Either you write for or against of it. Many students, they write, what is that in the examination? They write either for, for or against the statement. Many of them I've seen, okay, many of them have corrected the papers. So we will, we, we sometimes, you know, we will, we, will be, we will not be able to understand what the student is trying to express. So that is why we are trying to tell you, be clear. Be very clear. Okay, read the question properly. Read it so properly that you should understand the question and then write it. Don't read like, you know, write an original short story. Uh, you see the title, the gift and you start writing. That means you copy for somebody else. No, that is not necessary, children. That is not the way you should write. I hope you understood. So we will discuss. We'll come back to the next question paper 2019. Okay. So same what we have discussed earlier. That is the marking scheme. Whatever I've discussed, I've discussed about the marking scheme only. Okay, now, now 2019 board examination. Now here, question number one. Now here, according to your, to nowadays, nowadays question paper this is. According to your set of question paper, that is write a composition in 300 to 350 words on any one of the topic given below. You should write only one. There will be five compositions. You have to write only one, remember that. Now this time it is 20 marks. So it is 20 marks from 2019 onwards. It started the, because we added a new question that is notice an email for you. Okay, now, now we will discuss about it now. See, the first question says, write an original short story in which two children and their grandfather are the main characters. See, what did I do here? I experimented on my children. 
on my students. That means your seniors. I experimented on them and most of them, what do they do is that they wrote only one thing. So when it comes to two children and their grandfather, so one particular thing you will remember. After Blenheim, that is a poem written by Robert Sade. Okay, after Blenheim as a poem. So people start writing that story to 300 to 350 words. They start writing, there was a William Mine, Peter Kin, and there was a grandfather. Uh, there was a little boy who bought a skull and they start writing it. And imagine, do you, do you score marks in that? No, you never score marks. You score very less. You think that you, I'll, I will score like around uh, 20, 20, uh, 20 I, will, I will be scoring at 20, not 20. Sorry, I will be scoring like around uh, the S17, 18, 19, my nine. No, you will not even score more than 10 also, I would tell you. You will not even score that also. If your language is good, at least you might score like, you know, 9 and 10. If your language is good, but you are not going to score above than that. Understood that. See, remember children, it should be your own. You have to take these two characters. That is two children and a grandfather. You have to take these characters and you have to write your own short story. It should be your own. Do not copy it from, from any movie. Remember that also. Or from any series. Or you might have listened to somebody else's, uh, somebody telling you some story from any Hollywood movie and you start writing it. No. Don't do that. People know that. Your examiners will know it. Your examiners will know that you have copied or been, you have taken, you are taking the ideas from somewhere else. See children, you have to have your own ideas. Remember that. That is why we are discussing. The first question is, short story but remember it should be your own next one closed circuit television in short we call it cctv must be installed in every classroom give your views either for or against this statement now cctv now if you keep writing cctv the abbreviation the the abbreviation that is the short form you are making an error. You should write closed circuit television only in your SS compulsory. See, closed, you can't keep writing CCTV, CCTV, CCTV in every word. No. If you make every word you may you write, you make every error. Closed circuit television is the right word to use in written form, I'm talking. So same way, this question B is an argumentative essay, but remember you have to write either for or against the statement. You cannot write both. See, if you're for, what is what is the good? That is the what is the good thing in that? If you're against, what are the bad things? Bad bad things. You have to express it very appropriately, children. I'm telling you. Think. Think more. You should have, as I told you, logical arguments, logical ideas, well constructions. Okay, reasoning should be very personal experience. Okay, you should be very clear in what you are standing that is either for or against. You should have a very good valid reason. You should have a very valid reasons. Do not write something. And most of the students, what they do is that. See, most of you students, what they do is that. One point, they keep on pointing it and keep on elasticating it. Have you seen elastic? You... You pull it, it'll keep on. You see a, you seen a rubber band, you pull it, it'll keep on elastic. One point, they keep on repeating the same thing. You should have points. Points should be expressed correctly. You should have more points in your, in your writing for for or against. Remember that. When you're writing for, you should have points more. When you're writing against, you should have good points. There should be no repetitive points continuously repeating the same point on and on, on and on. That is not, that should not be done. So that is why we tell you to read a lot of books. Have a habit of reading. Okay. Now question number C. Let's come back to question number C. Your class had to conduct a morning assembly write an account of how 
you prepared for it what your role was and what you gained from the experience it's a narrative now remember it's a narrative composition remember now what is the composition i've told you it is a personal perspective and i play an important role that is the word i play a very important role understood now your classroom is conducting a morning assembly you know what it is morning assemblies most of the schools do that morning assembly some school, some classes they they start uh, conducting assemblies okay so they get a chance to conduct assembly so you should have the habit of knowing better so it is you got a chance and how you prepared it you have to disc, you have to narrate how you prepared it okay and what was your role at that time okay what was that role what assembly that what role that you have taken means were you uh were you did you take to uh, to give a thought or some of y'all might be having an idiomatic expression to express or uh, synonyms to express or newspaper reading to do or many things or uh, you know what is assembly activities are actually okay so what is that what was your role that you have to write there and what was what was the experience that you gained what did you learn how did you learn what are the things that how you prepared everything what all and the day how you did the assembly so everything that you have to express the children remember that okay so that is what i'm i'm telling you so you should have a perspective that is i there and you have to write your personal experience there you should not write somebody else's experience that he did it he did it and uh, she did it or my friend did it no it is you what you did it and what you learned there so that is called narrative okay i hope that you understood what it is so the next one summer summers are becoming hotter with each passing year write a description of one such very hot day what did you see and hear as you walked outside how were birds and animals affected now this is a descriptive essay now you are writing that one particular day which was very hot okay and what was the experience that you had to happen okay what experience that you had went through and you, and what are the things that you saw and when you were walking outside somewhere you might be walking on a uh, on a road or on a path or on a, or somewhere okay so what are the things that you have seen and you also should describe how did the birds and animals are affected about it. some students what they do is that see summers are becoming hotter with each passing year so when what what do some student what do they do is that you know what do they do they start writing about the reason why summer is happening they start describing the what do you say the temperature level they start they start describing about global warming uh, pollution everything they start describing so we are not asking you to describe about this we are not asking you about global global warming we are not asking about we are not we are not talking about pollution we are not we are not talking about uh, deforestation we are talking about that is you that is you have experienced one particular day which was very hot what did you see when you were walking outside okay and you also should describe how did the birds and animals have suffered okay this is what you should do but what do some what do students do is that i'll tell you they start describing about global warming okay and they start describing about the deforestation we are we know about it okay i know you people are very great you people are very good uh, you will describe about it but we are not asking about it here we are not asking about it we are asking about your experience you should describe you you should you should have a description about you what did you see what what when you were walking what did you do here what are the what are the things that you saw and what did the things that you hear when you heard all these things that is what i'm am that is what the examiner will be expecting from you understood children so make sure that you should not get confused make sure that you read the question properly 
understood picture composition will discuss i'll give you an explanation not now little bit slow by slow we'll go but wait for that okay next one see uh, marking scheme uh, i will give you the i'll send you the notes about it so you can go through it a little bit okay see now note thing the note very important thing write in paragraph and okay remember when you're writing an essay it should be broken into paragraphs understood remember another important thing that i want to tell you is that do not write short essay that means you should not write an essay which is which has got words less than 300 we consider consider it as a short essay so when we consider it as a short essay that means you will not be able to score more than six i i can say more than seven or more than eight your language might be good you might not be having time so you have written in instead of 300 words you have written 250 words it is considered a short essay you have written 280 words it is considered a short essay remember that you that is why they have given you a clear instructions that should be it should be written in 300 to 350 words or you can write more than that understood children utilize the time properly that is what i'm trying to tell you and when you're writing your essays no mobile or sms language no writing if you write you are going to lose marks so that is why we are having a description here called gross errors and minor errors. when 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 an examiner is correcting your paper he will note down your gross error and minor error what are gross errors and minor error we will discuss right now gross errors are nothing but irregular tenses that means the wrong usage of tenses he did not come he doesn't come is he coming today is he not coming today yeah. so you should know the appropriate words the prop you should use the appropriate tenses i'm telling you okay uh he has not come coming today this is not the right way okay there are many ways that you are having uh, so that is why we are we are trying to tell you to improve your grammar grammatical skills also writing that is and spellings minor errors that is spellings so we note down your spellings remember that and if you do not use your article properly in place of an you use a in place of a you use an in place of that you use the so these articles if you don't use if you use unnecessary articles you lose marks sentence structure you cannot write continuously a complex sentence continuously you can't keep writing a complex sentence it should be a simple sentence it should be a comp compound sentence it should be it should have a complex so remember guys i've already taught you simple com compound and complex sentence also so your sentence structure should be meaningful pronouns correct usage of pronouns you should write like you cannot write uh, he uh, then it was uh, he, he came instead of writing he it came so remember you should be very very careful when you're writing your essays preposition wrong usage of preposition and when preposition is needed you are not written there so this is what unparliamentary words also what is unparliamentary words that means you use foul language you know uh, like i can say um, like i'm not trying to say unparliamentary words like you know you should not use the words there it could be like you know profanity it contains profanity that means like you know like you cannot say i called him lay no you should not write that okay no broken english and when you're writing in your essays you should not write in hindi that is in english in hindi may bolta hua that means people write in english no you should not write you should not write that you should not write anything even in canada even in anything understood abbreviations i told you no not no need to write abbreviations okay as soon as possible a s p s okay i don't know like you know lol laugh out loud okay no all those things you should stop incorrect meaning if the sentence contains incorrect meaning you are wrong minor error and remember the meaning of the word is incorrect there 
that in that word when you have used a vocabulary which is incorrect in that sentence you have an error numerals unnecessary numerals you cannot write five people you cannot write five you should write f i v e five date is acceptable year is acceptable okay your score is acceptable but remember you cannot write unnecessary numerals understood children do not start the sentence from and but because do not start it and most important thing is that unnecessary capital letters when is capital letters needed if it is a if it is if it is a if it is a noun okay understood a proper noun which which is could be a name it could be a name of a person it could be a name of a a place remember there you need to use a capital letter and when you put a full stop the next the next word of the letter should start with a capital and i the word i should always be in capital remember some people what they do they put i and put zero there on top of it no that is i i should be capital not every i am talking about once i told one of our students some of my one of my student one of my uh, batch which was in 2016 uh, uh, i told them to stop uh, or to to avoid writing i like that and use a capital i so everywhere they kept on writing i as capital even in every word i told them i should always be a capital means that every i they kept on writing capital so that is not so you don't do that kind of thing so that is what i'm trying to tell you make sure that whatever you're writing should be uh, should be very precise that is what i'm saying and do not start a sentence with and but because okay next thing is that no shoddy expressions understood no shoddy kind of expressions like you know uh, like uh, gotcha wancha uh, like you know you the modern like in the they are called as in you know modernized english you know gotcha don't you okay aren't you coming okay okay kimmy okay all this kind of you know slang words should not be there is no slangs in essays you do not write slangs remember that children understood understood children do not write slangs next one next we'll come back to some other okay next thing tips to improve your essays read a lot of books could be novels could be short stories could be magazines could be newspaper listen to news channels like bbc uh the bbc then cnn then ndtv and then these kind of news channels you keep watching it you know that is that is surely you will have a good ample of knowledge understood so read uh, read a lot of books more more books you need to read so don't say that i don't have time where there is a will there is a way you have a ample of time where there is a will this is a time where you have an ample of time you can read a lot of books uh, you can read so many books that you can really improve your in your imaginative skills that is why roald dahl in the television poem he kept saying that read 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 so reading habit is very important reading habit if you have a very good reading habit then you are able to write three questions which is very easy for you composition will be very easy letter writing will be very a piece of cake for you and comprehension will be really piece of cake okay the next thing adopt a reading friendly attitude while writing so whenever you have a writing whenever the whenever uh, you have reading also have a writing make a habit of writing things put yourself a readers place you know remember put yourself always into a readers place okay make notes and make changes see that's what whenever you are getting some information make it a note and try to make it a change then add it in your knowledge add it in your conversation whenever you're discussing with your friend you have to discuss with that so make a change in that pick topics that are common you know always pick topics on essay topics which are common and start describing describe about a person describe about your city describe about a bus describe about your school make it a small small things and start improving step by step that is how you really improve i'm telling you okay practice writing remember most important is practice writing is very important sir most important is that writing is practicing is more important like you cannot say that sir hey, i can i can i will write in the month of, i will write uh, in the, when the exam comes or when the test comes or when they come i'll write no that is wrong habit of writing is very important most of my children have i have i have taught 10 batches 
10 batches have taught most of the students have done the I've, I've told the same thing and i have seen the score is worse than anything else i'm i'm telling you all please do not follow like that make a habit of writing make a habit of reading practice more that is what i'm trying to tell you give yourself a time limit and try to finish it within the time frame that is 35 minutes try, try to write it like you know i sometimes you know i start making i start trying to make my children like you know i would tell them i would give them a letter d just a d letter or any letter it could be f it could be s it could be r it could be x or it could be w okay any letter and i would put them a time in one minute how many words they can write some some of the students they write 10 words because they don't have the reading habit some students they write even the toppers they write and now hardly they'll write uh, like you know hardly 20 words you know in one minute you should have the habit of writing 125 words in one minute if i give you in letter e then you should have an habit in one minute you should have write 125 words the speed of writing the speed of ratio and the speed of thinking is very important okay so that is why make yourself a time limit try to finish it that means you have to practice and also when you have written get someone to correct your essays okay you have to get it that is that is really important post it or ask the expert okay you can post it or you can ask an expert that could be an anybody any any teacher okay doesn't mean that it should be only me or doesn't mean that it could be anybody children it could be anybody but remember you should be very happy and you should be very strong to get feedback when you're read, when you're writing try to get a feedback that is how you improve getting a feedback is most important thing see there are many types of essays so please make sure that you practice in that see there are many types of essays many topics are there that's what i'm that is what one point i've given you so there are many types of essays so that is why many topics are there so try to practice them improve vocabulary okay use idiomatic expressions if you have written something important like thought quotations like in, you can underline in your essays you can underline and put it in a double invented comma put it into double invented comma and underline it if you want to tell it or if you want to quote somebody uh, somebody's thought like you know ask not what country can do for you ask what you can do for your country said by abraham lincoln john f kennedy okay like you know just put a double in comma and underline that and you want to express about it okay that is what and some people you know money they want to express about money and some people they wanted to express about cctv like you know quotation something or the other you can you can be very creative children but remember it should be broken into paragraphs your essays should be broken into paragraphs that is what i'm trying to tell you understood children Okay, let's come back to picture composition. When it comes to 10th ICC or 9th ICC, there's a picture composition. People think it is very easy. But to say people score very low in this. Picture composition is a very uh, critical thinking uh, kind of a thing. It is also a reflective. It could be a descriptive. It could be a narrative. It could be a short story also. Anything is possible in picture composition. Now you can see a picture composition. You can see there are two pictures. I know that you people, you know the story. The fox and the grapes. Okay. And the crow and the fox. And what you will do, it's very easy. I can write it. No, that is not. You should write your own. Create your own. Think your own. You have to remember children that whenever you are writing, Whenever you're writing a picture composition, make sure that you are writing it very clear. Clear thought should be there. And remember, picture composition, I've, as, I, as, I, as I've earlier told you, it's a wide interpretation. Okay. Any relevant ideas can be acceptable in this. But remember, guys. But remember, you cannot itemize or list things like you know and like you know some students they start writing in the picture i could see a one crow and one fox okay 
or they they will or in 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 the in the picture i can see one fox looking at the grapes no that is not the way you write you lose marks like that you have to create your own like you know listing like you can say listing and itemizing that is very important a girl is holding a bat hitting the ball that is not the way you write i could see in the picture three girls are standing there no that is not the way but remember children do not do not write do not write as if you are an older person you should remember that you should write you are under the age of 15 remember that you do not write in your essay suddenly you go off in your 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 future that means now i am a great person right now i am a great writer right now i am a very i am the richest businessman right now i am the greatest cricket player right now my children are studying no that is not the way you should be you should be 115 15 age or 16 age in that age limit only you should write your essays you cannot write something else you cannot write about your future okay some some students i have i have seen they are writing some they have written something something else which is not according to their age age limit is important so your age is very important understood children and you can see there are actually four girls okay one you can see a one year one, uh, two year the third year and behind the girl is also there remember that children you cannot list them you should write something that is why most of the students what do they do is that they do not attempt picture composition and some of the teachers they don't encourage students to write picture composition but in some things what happen in that in some schools they make an habit of uh, like you know like you know giving picture composition but actually most of them don't know picture composition what is you should see the inner meaning of it you should see what is that picture you should know the meaning you should be very creative you should be very imaginative and then write that is what i am trying to tell you that is why where we are losing marks is because of because we are not using our head properly or you can say our thoughts properly sorry thoughts be very creative so to be very creative you need to have a habit of reading listening and observing create your own create as much as your own and to say you will be very fine i hope that whatever i have discussed with you all that is short story argumentative essay narrative essay and descriptive and picture composition okay which kind of an essay or composition that you want to write it is left to you children but when you are choosing read the question properly and observe the picture properly if you are writing a short story or if you are writing an argumentative if you are writing a narrative or if you are writing a descriptive read the question properly and when you are looking at the picture composition look into the picture properly look into the picture properly and improve your writing writing skills i'm not talking about your handwriting i'm not talking about your handwriting i'm talking about your writing skills how you are a how you have the ability to describe how you have the ability to write a short story what is your ideas so it should be like a map your ideas should be like a map your like an outline map ideas one point another point another point another point it should keep coming so when you keep writing what happens is that one by one points keeps coming so what happens is that you write all the important points at the end that is not important think properly and write see children your essay should be written in 300 to 350 words understood 300 to 350 words or you can write more than that it's not about it's not talking about your pages have a word limit one line how many words you can write make a habit like that that in in one line seven words or eight words then how many how many words that it should be there in a paragraph i'm talking about 60 to 70 words next paragraph should be in 80 words 
next paragraph 80 words it's left to you how you people are going to write how you want to write also i hope that you understood what i'm trying to tell you okay so make sure that make sure that you should you should improve your grammar skills okay okay and then uh, minor errors that is spellings you should improve your spellings you should uh, punctuation marks where to put a accurate punctuation marks where to put accurate comma where to put accurate full stop where to put double indented comma okay hyphen all those things bracket all those things then abbreviations no abbreviations then a good vocabulary should be used no unnecessary numerals should not be written only for date and year it should be written okay and then your structure sentence your sentence structure should be very strong it should be very meaningful and do not start the essay from do not start from a paragraph and or do not start a sentence from but or because make sure that you don't do that and unnecessary capital letters you should not use no other languages should be used okay no shoddy expressions that is slangs okay no slang uh, gotcha want you don't you all those things are not necessary here be correct be accurate and remember essays are written in paragraphs remember that okay do not write a short essay make sure that okay and then when you complete the composition please make sure that you read at the end after completing the after completing writing the paper please read your comprehension uh, sorry composition once make sure that you read the composition once understood children i hope that you understood okay i hope that you understood picture composition okay make sure that picture composition when you look into the picture know the inner meaning of it hmm? look into the picture please do not itemize i uh, do not list the things okay i see one girl standing there i see one that no you should it could be written anything you can write a short story there you can write a descriptive there you can write a narrative there it is left to you children how you want to write but remember it should be your own no copying it no 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 getting inspired from some other text no no getting inspired from some movies no it should be your own it should be your own understood children i hope that you understood what i'm trying to say okay i hope you understood what is what is argumentative essay what is uh, what is a short story essay now what is uh, descriptive and narrative essay and i hope that you understood picture composition picture composition is you have to see the inner meaning okay look into the picture observe the picture understand the meaning of it and then start writing okay it is a wide variety remember that you can write anything you want hope that you understood okay hope you can write anything you want means don't write anything that you copy from something and you start writing no you can write anything that means you can write either write a short story you can either write um, descriptive or narrative you can write a critical thinking essay you can write anything okay. but remember it should be precise it should be clear it should be understandable it's an art children whatever you're writing it is an art that you are writing it is a gift that you have to have it hope that you understood have a good time have a nice day and take care have a good time children see you guys